Hi, my name is Anke Lewitz. I'm a photographer and I live and work in Cape Town, South Africa. Um, my work focuses on stillness and finding balance and equanimity in the world. And yeah, it happened yesterday actually where I had to um, make that decision of how do I know and it's a good question and it's a feeling. It's a feeling. Like that's what I can pinpoint it as. It's, it, when it makes me feel a certain way, like any kind of way, then I know it's a good picture. Yeah. It's like a deep knowing. I can't describe it. It's, it almost feels in my soul. I'm like, okay, that's the image. Or that's not the image. I had a, this thing that I made and I shot it about five times. <laughs> in different ways, in different places, but the image just didn't work. And I was hoping so desperately that it will, but it didn't give me that feeling. And maybe it's technically a good image because the lighting is interesting or um, it says something or whatever, but if it doesn't provoke like a certain feeling where I can almost pinpoint that it is my image, then I know it's not a good image. I try to go with the flow. But I, I, I definitely, that's something that I try and capture in the work, is the moments that I've been in flow. Trying to showcase that there is those states of being, you know, there's those states of being calm and states of being in flow or at ease or um, stillness, I think is something that I really try and capture in my work. Um, and that's definitely a direct translation of what I've experienced in my personal life. When I feel inspired is kind of rare. I don't know, like, those are such fleeting moments. I try and not really focus too much on feeling inspired. It, it, it's, it's more for me like a daily practice, you know, like I don't always feel inspired to get on my yoga mat, <laughs> but I do it anyway because I know the result's gonna be fruitful or rewarding you know same with my work like I don't try and make work when I'm inspired or or feel I mean obviously there's that feeling right like there's a there's the feeling of um, feeling passionate about something but I feel like those that those kinds of emotions run quite low frequency it doesn't stay for very long um, and it's quite fleeting and then you can get quite depressed or disappointed when it's gone, you know, and then get in a slump of, oh, I'm not good or I don't know how to create. It's rather just to get up every day, do the same thing, which then becomes a practice and then it just becomes second nature. Moments of inspiration for me have actually got nothing to do with photography at all. And it's the moments of inspiration for me are when I'm in silence by myself, um, when I'm meditating, when I'm in nature outside, um, when I'm doing like neurological reprogramming work, um, things like that really like light my fire. So there's a lot of ways, different ways to go about stuff like that, but basically it's, a, it's practices that work with getting your brain in a state where it's calm enough to go into the subconscious space and evoke old memories that are trapped in like the cellular body. So you can do that through practices like meditation or um, hypnosis or there's types of therapies that also do that. To reprogram certain behavioral patterns and you do that by reaching a state of like stillness and calm and then through that you bring up old memories and and sit in the emotions of that and through that you actually disarm those feelings. That's, that's really for me like where the excitement lies in any kind of human transformation is the fact that we can really all change ourselves, you know, and our behaviors. And again, through daily practice and repeating certain behaviors in positive forms, it creates new, new neural pathways that you can slipstream into. But one of the things that I keep going back to whenever I'm writing or journaling about my thoughts and things it's how important beauty and design and simplicity of nature and that kind of beauty as well you know not just like aesthetic beauty but all of those things are really really important for me in everyday life like 
it, it's almost like it makes my brain feel more calm and then like thoughts and ideas can arise from there you know when things <laughs> are like symbiotically beautiful around you you know I, I fully see that as like the biggest privilege for the fact that I can have beauty in my life and around me it definitely um, inspires my work in a massive way when it comes to mentorship you know, people kind of have to, you you have to have a really strong sense of who you are because otherwise you're so influenced. Someone can steer you in a completely different direction of where you're going, you know. You have to have a really strong sense of yourself to be an artist, I think, at the end of the day. And a mentor can just um, enhance that and you should still take it all with a pinch of salt, I think, you know. I think as artists, like, we can go quite blindly into situations where there'll be people in more higher power selling your work or representing you in some way and I've learned the hard way that sometimes people don't always have your back you know? and then you have to stand up for yourself at the end of the day I think then like going okay well this is not how I deserve to be treated and I cho choose differently that that for me has been the hardest part and because I I'm quite a I tend to believe people like the good sides of people generally, you know. I tend to want to have more compassion for people and sometimes you have to be, in order to be compassionate, you have to be strong-willed and know what you want, know what you stand for. And I've had to learn that the hard way with, with, yeah, in the industry. Yeah, I definitely feel more balanced um, in business aspect and the creative aspect. Yeah, that's very, very strong take home that I think people should know is like art is as much business if not more than it is actually making the art you know.